Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dr. C channel, thank you very much for tuning in for part 2 in my build series with this Foxier frame, the Aura 5 inch freestyle frame. One of their, yeah, one of their first frames, right? They have a racing frame and this uh, freestyle Aura frame. In this video I'm gonna show you what parts I'll be using in this build. Should be interesting I think. And I'll also keep this uh, video as short as possible, but I do want to, well, tell you why I chose the parts I chose. So it took a little bit longer before I could shoot this uh, second video because the motors uh, took a while to uh, get in. But as you can tell, I've got the motors here. Now this build I tried to make it as much as a Foxeer build as possible. You obviously know Foxeer makes cameras, right? They now make stacks, pretty nice stacks, so I'm going to be using their stack and a an, uh, Foxeer antenna and oh no, I don't have the propellers in but you know that the uh, Foxeer owns doll props by now so I'll be using doll props and yeah they will have a VTX, uh, a freestyle VTX as well not in yet or not uh, ready yet at this point in time they do have a racing VTX, a smaller VTX and motors, in the future Foxeer will be making motors but so I'll be using RCN power motors. Okay, let me give you a quick rundown of the parts I'll be using in this build and why. Alrighty, I don't know about you, but I start my builds or the selecting of parts with the frame. And this is going to be a freestyle build, so here we are, a freestyle frame. And again, this is the first freestyle frame from Foxeer. I have already done a review of this frame. By now I've ordered a couple more because they are super duper stiff. They are super duper stiff and they don't cost a whole lot. They're not the cheapest frames, but for what you get, in my humble opinion, at this price point you would be hard pressed to find a stiffer frame. I haven't flown them, obviously, but uh, yeah, very stiff and no nonsense. You've got a lot of room, it's a freestyle frame. Seems like a nice frame to me, especially for it, what it costs. So the second thing I usually select for a build are the motors, what KV, what size, what brand. And if you follow my channel you might know these motors, the RCN Power Wasp motors. I used these uh, on uh, my previous build with a Foxeer stack as well, by chance. So these motors work out well, even though this is a racing quadcopter uh, obviously. I want to know well, what these motors are like on both a racing quadcopter and a freestyle quadcopter. So I've ordered me a bunch uh, of these. These are the same motors but um, in the reversed color scheme. These are black with gold and these are gold with black. You can, uh, well, obviously have them in either color scheme. And these are 22.6 by 06.6. <sighs> yeah, um, <laughs> hard to make out what the actual size of these motors or the status of these motors actually is. Uh, yeah, they are a little more square than your typical motor, maybe. Oh well. On this quadcopter, they work out well again, and I wanted to try them on a free cycle quadcopter as well. These are not inexpensive motors, however. These are not budget motors. I'll have a link to these motors uh, in the description. In fact, I'll have links to all parts uh, for this quadcopter in the description down below. And only the motors I got from Banggood. So that link will be an affiliate link, just so you know. But uh, yeah, uh, premium motors. And again, they work out well so far. Okay, so the next thing you select is a stack, right? Usually, I do. And this is definitely one of the stars of this show. Well, the major probably star of the show. An F7 flight controller, which is nothing to sniff at, but I've used uh, a lot of F7 flight controllers. This one is super duper small, right? It's a 20x20 20 20, uh, F7 flight controller, but it's hardly bigger than the 20x20 20 20 mounting pattern, as you can tell. I've used uh, this, uh, this exact same flight controller on that uh, previous racing quadcopter. It uh, works and super duper small. So as this is a freestyle quadcopter or a freestyle build, uh, you might add for instance a GoPro or maybe even two GoPros. I wanted me a beefier 4-in-1 ESC and this is definitely a beefier 4-in-1 ESC. This is uh, again a Reaper 4-in-1 ESC from Foxeer. 
This is a 20 by 20 4 in 1 ESC. So you don't need to uh, use a, a converter uh, to uh, mount it in uh, a 20 by 20 stick. However, as you can tell, it's a lot bigger. Basically what you have here, here is a 30 and a half by 30 and a half 4 in 1 ESC with 20 by 20 mounting pattern. So that way it it's probably very useful for racers as well as current racers or modern racing frames usually only come with 20 by 20 mounting patterns so this way you can have a beefier 4 in 1 ESC with your 20 by 20 mounting pattern and again to mount that smaller and obviously lighter flight controller you don't need a converter of any kind you can simply uh, use uh, well 20 by 20 mounting uh, screws and you're done for your stick very nice and it's coated not only that this is a 60 amp 60 amp for one ESCs, which is nothing to sniff at. This is also a 96 kilohertz for one ESC. What the hell does that mean? Well, I'll probably, yeah, I will be doing a separate video about this stack. More on that in that video, but a faster cycling rate of the processor of your 401 ESC, of your ESCs, should make your quadcopter easier to tune more precise maybe maybe your motors will run cooler i'm not sure about that but again i'll do a separate video about this entire stack and especially of this uh, this new 96 kilohertz for one uh, reaper they have three 96 kilohertz uh, new reaper for one escs actually a smaller one and an even bigger one yeah okay more on that in my video about this stack the last part I usually select is the FV setup, or maybe the propellers, but well, of the electronics, the FV setup. And again, Foxier doesn't make a higher output VTX yet, so we're going with a TBS Unify Pro 5G version 3. And uh, partly because it was in stock, that helps. But also this, uh, this one has an SMA connector, right? And uh, this frame has an SMA mount at the rear, so that should work out well and these work obviously right and then for a camera this is yeah this is one of the stars of this show i'll do a separate video about this camera this is not just any camera it's a foxier camera but it is a cat 3 so an evening slash night time flying camera it should also work out well in daytime but low light camera interesting again i'll do a separate review of this camera I am very much looking forward to seeing uh, how this performs and what it flies like. So coming up shortly and also I've got me an antenna and uh, this is uh, one of uh, Foxier's new micro lollipops, a far smaller lollipop. And so far so good, I've used uh, these on a couple of builds, work, right? So I'll be using these on uh, this freestyle build as well and we'll see what the result is. Um, yeah, I'll do a, again, I'll do a separate video about uh, this uh, camera, this Cat3 camera. In that video you'll see how this entire setup works as well. Last but definitely not least are some propellers. The quadcopter definitely needs some propellers, right? So I'll be using the Nepal Dalprop, right? Dalprop Nepal uh, N2. I'm not sure N Nepal 2 okay version 2 of the Nepal props and you might be wondering well uh, okay so why are you using these propellers well I've got more than a couple of quadcopters with Nepal version 1 propellers uh, here is one freestyle quadcopter Nepal N1s or Nepal version 1s and another freestyle quadcopter with Nepal version 1 propellers. And I could definitely show you five more quadcopters with the Nepal version 1 propellers. But I won't. <laughs> I won't waste your time more than needed. And yes, I have far too many quadcopters. Uh, short of it all is that these propellers work. I like these propellers. They are a little bit amp hungry. At least uh, the version 1s. Uh, but they, uh, well, uh, they provide more speed than your typical freestyle quadcopter. And there you go, a short overview of the parts I'll be using for this uh, Aura 5 build. If you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. Also, as mentioned, coming up a video or a review of this Foxier Cat 3 camera and this stick. This uh, 
F7 stack with a Reaper 60 amp 4 one ESC. Should be interesting, especially yeah, for me this camera, this 4 one ESC I assume will work out great, right? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but we'll see. And again, if you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.